Well, folks, it is hard to believe, but the Winter Olympics, they start in just a few months. Summer games just ended, right? right. <laughs> uh, those Olympic athletes are inspiring a former star athlete. Fort Hatchet has more on her new icy adventure. Gina Widener made her home here at High Point University as a volleyball player before graduating in 2020, but now she's trying her hand at a whole new athletic endeavor. You know, I, I retired from volleyball, was really excited to, you know, take some time off, and then all of a sudden got an email. The email was from a coach at USA Bobsled. Yes, Bobsled. Despite Widener having no experience with bobsledding, aside from watching the movie Cool Runnings, coaches wanted to see if she had what it took to compete, asking Jenna for videos of her completing various exercises. And then based on that, and obviously the talk with your personality and everything like that, um, the coaches make a decision on whether you think they think you'd be good at bobsled. Widener made the cut and was soon invited to train with other Olympic hopefuls. She Zoomed with us from a training site in Lake Placid, but says it still feels surreal. I would say fast reaction time. Maybe that's something that's similar with volleyball, but other than that, there's really not much similar um, between bobsled and really any other sports, which I think is kind of interesting because then everyone is brand new at the sport when you're trying it. Now Jenna has her sights set on the 2026 Olympics and hopes to pilot an American bobsled team in Italy. But because all Olympic hopefuls are self-funded, she set up a GoFundMe page, raising money for the housing, sled shipping, and ice time needed to keep her Olympic dreams alive. I think most people, when they hear self-funded, they're like, oh, well, you know, you get some help from the program. Um, no, <laughs> we get no help from USABS specifically um, because our government doesn't fund our Olympic sports like many others do. And on top of her Olympic aspirations, Widener's still working full-time as an auditor and says she's thankful she can work remotely while she's away training, even if it does result in some odd hours. In High Point, Fort Hatch at WXII, 12 News. All right, thank you so much for the 2022 Winter Olympics will be in Beijing. The games start February 4th. Mark your calendars for that and you can watch all of the fun right here on WXII.